Hello and welcome to Shirt Shop in this series in which myself and our guests go shopping around Classic Football Shirts in London or Manchester. Without further ado, huge thanks to Classic Football Shirts for sponsoring this video. If you want to win a £50 voucher, make sure to like this video and comment what you thought our guest's best purchase was. And without further ado, let's meet today's guest. Welcome to Shirt Shopping, Ethan. Yeah, How are you doing? Yes, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Rocking the beer. Come on. Oh, handshake over there as well. Handshake <laughs> over it as well. But yeah, man, a big fun of the series. I watched uh, a couple of a couple of boys that have come on. Yeah. I like it. Get round, chop it up, talk about football, get a couple of nice kits. I presume that's like several beers have been consumed this week so far. Oh, very. I might as well continue the trend, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm living in West Ham, like shirts at the minute. It doesn't matter what it is. I've got a couple of like funny t-shirts, got actual kits. Yeah, I'm loving it. £500 to spend. What are you looking for? West Ham? Um, I, I promised Faith that I'd actually get her like a, a small retro West Ham top because she, she, she supports West Ham, so yeah. do all her family. So I promised her heading out today, I was like, I'll look for a small one, see see if I can get one for her. But also, I like, I've got an inter kit from years ago with Figo on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I like a retro y, real classic with a good player name on the back. So yeah. Also, before the shoot, I picked out a shirt that I was like, I reckon he picks this one out. So when we get round to it, I'll see if you pick it out. All right, okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's get round to it. Let's start. There's a London club section over there. Yeah. Let's get over there. I'll let you lead the way. <laughs> right, here we are. Champion section, right? Is that what we're calling it's what, it? It's what, this London is the clubs. London clubs. Oh, that's the champions, champions one. There's a treble winning team there, but I think for a Leeds fan, West Ham fan, this feels just as good, not that oh. I know, as that. <laughs> not that I know. I, I was saying just before we started filming, it's like 20, I'm, I'm nearly 28, right? And I've, I've supported West Ham my whole life. And I feel like if it's another 50 year wait, I'll be 78. Like, it's, I'm not gonna be able to experience it. I feel like I'm at the peak of my powers and I've got to remember it. It's a memory I'll keep for my lifetime. And these competitions, yeah, you can call it 10 pot, whatever you want, but it's winning something. It's the feeling, right? The, the feeling, feeling. The feeling of winning something, you don't get that. And in a league where you've got these cities, your Liverpools now, you're not gonna win the league. You're not gonna no. win the League Cup. You're not gonna win the FA Cup. Like, it's just, it's very difficult to do at the minute. So with a competition like this, you make memories. You go yeah. to all these different grounds around the world and you make memories, man. As a Leeds fan, I just want to win a game. Yeah. You know, it'd be nice to win a game of football. <laughs> That'd be really nice. Oh, um, I'll, I'll tell you what, it's a sad season for you lot, really, because I was rooting for you lot to do it. I kind of wanted Everton to go down. So did I. Yeah, I really, and they've escaped it for three seasons now. I'm sick of it. It's so. a bit boring now. Either get yeah. your back together or go down. Exactly. We've, we've done it the honourable way. We've realised we're f***ed <laughs> and we've gone. But at least I think will Leeds come back up? I think you will. I think you will. I think Leicester might struggle. But. It took 17 years last time. Yeah. And I hope, mate, if it takes 17 years again, I might have facial hair back. It's going to be decent. <laughs> You'd be a big old grown man. Yeah, yeah man. Declan Rice, what a geezer. What a geezer. This kit I have like bad memories with though, because it was like, it wasn't a nice season. It was no. all right, but it was, it was when we was on the come up. Yeah. yeah in there. So, but um, yeah, Rice, what a geezer, man. I've just said the word geezer then. I was like, it does not suit me saying I'm from <laughs> Norwich. It doesn't suit the word. No one says the word geezer in Norwich. No, ever. what a geezer. He is class. He, aside from Pyatt, he might be the best West Ham player I've seen in my lifetime. Sort of, do you feel like the West Ham fans are fine with him going now as well? He's done everything yeah. he can. The way, the way I explain it to my friends is, this geezer's come through our youth academy. He's got us three seasons of European football, semi-final and a final and won it. And if he gets sold for like 100 million, you can't ask for more than a player like that, can you? No. It's going to help us in the long run. And I do reckon, when he's like 36, 37, he'll come back for two years. Yeah, like that. I think so, just like a, a twilight end to the career. Oh, look at that, a Sinclair top, come on. We had um, Cal Freeze on the last episode. Yeah, I watched that one. And he was belittling my shirt choice the whole episode. Do you, what about this this episode? I like it, yeah. that's nice, that's yeah. nice. I know that he had a, he had a problem with the, uh, the lairiness, right? Yes. That's what you said. I don't mind a Larry kit, to a degree. Okay. To a degree. What about the other? <laughs> <laughs> that one was the one in that episode. A little bit, a little bit Larry. But yeah. it's, again, if you're going like Shoreditch seven aside, it's fantastic. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, not the job serve. That's great. Navy. Oh my god. Look at the collar on that as well. Exactly. Do you know what? I haven't seen this kit in, and I, I love our old badge. Yeah. I love our good, old yeah. badge. Do you know what? I actually really like that. So Should I'm gonna... I whack it in my in the Go maybe? On. You use me as I'm your I'm, roaming yeah, really. coat hanger. Okay, I'll take that. Carrick on this one. Dr. Martin sponsor, by the way. Have you seen quickly as well, just in front of that one, who's on the other one in front of it? That is an unreal. Oh, Litos Tevez, mate. Yes. This geezer, I, I don't think you understand how many times I've watched the Greatest Escape DVD. So yeah. I had it. It's boiling in London, by the way. It's like 30 degrees. I know, so imagine please, wearing a long sleeve. Please excuse the sweaty man. Um, 
But this kit is the kit from The Greatest Escape. Yeah. And I've watched it so many times, man. That free kick that he scored, you can't get a much better free kick than that. There's just so many, and he's like a, he's so good. Yeah, it's, he's so good. It's mental, I feel like you've got him, um, welcome. Um, you've he's got, bigger than Tevez. <laughs> <laughs> you've got him, like we had Rafinha at Leeds. I, yeah. every, everything I bring back to Leeds all the time. It's mm. quite boring really that I do it. Yeah. Um, Champions treble, I'm guessing you're not gonna be too fussed in this section. I'm not too fussed I mean, on well, this, well, but again, so you see stuff like this, like these, these collars, I just yeah. love collars. Iconic sponsor with Brother, it's yeah, very yeah. Oasis. I do, I do love long. a collar, but I'll tell you what, the new kit, I was saying just a moment to you, a moment ago to you, their new kit's very nice. Yes. I'm a fan of the long new sle kit. Long sleeves or short sleeves, what's for you? I'm a short sleeve man. Oh, okay. I am short sleeves with Under Armour. Oh, you want yeah, aerodynamic? Yeah, you're yeah, all about yeah, yeah. performance. Absolutely, Peak yeah. performance. Catch me on a Sunday morning with my Under Armour on <laughs> and a short sleeve top, sometimes tucked. See, there, there's, um, in the Calfrizi episode, yeah. you know, that laps, is it the Lazio one that you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That shirt is unreal. He, he wore it, I was with him recently and he wore it and I said, oh, you bastard, man. <laughs> that kit is so nice. I like the um, Inter Milan coat as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was I haven't seen him wear that yet. But again, it's summer now, so. Yeah, a bit of a weird purchase, yeah, really. That Lazio one with the like, the it's like mountains, isn't it? Oh, yes. it's so nice. It's so nice. So kits like that, that have a little bit of, extra sauce on them, big fan of. So like here, for yeah. example, we are in the UK clubs. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. Rangers, I, I love that kit. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you're not gonna be, that's not for you. Absolutely not. No, and nah. I'm guessing any other, any other English club isn't for you really. Not really, but I do have like, from watching football when I was younger, I, I do like like a classic Arsenal shirt. Yeah, they're like, nice. It's good Premier League The memories. Bruce Banana, yeah, the Henri, exactly. like long, the one Chris MD wears in all of his videos. Absolutely, it's like, it's just Barclays memories, you know yeah. what I mean? I love the Barclays era. It was so good, I remember just turning on, watching every single game I could. Uh, and uh, United growing up, by the way, like outrageous. I'd watch United games just to see what they were doing. It was unbelievable. Do you know some people get touchy when you call Manchester, everyone knows them as United. Yeah, but like yeah, as a Leeds yeah. fan, I'll get sticky if you go, oh, because really? like Leeds hate Man U. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, there's only one United. I'm like, statistically there's not. No, there's, there's, there's quite several a few. Uniteds. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're United. Exactly. Exactly. You're currently the United, you're massive. We are London's actual, <laughs> London is Claret and Blue currently. Currently. Currently it is Claret and Blue. And I will shout that <laughs> for everyone's ear. <laughs> London is Claret and Blue. Do you know who I used to have sort of like a, a thing for? Mort Scamps Pedersen. Oh, I knew you were going to say Mort Scamps Pedersen. Mate, just that geezer, right? He had like, I, I still to this day have only seen a couple of deliveries like that, Matt. Unbelievable. Like, it's just pure technique. This Chelsea shirt, outrageous. That reminds you of Lampard. Yeah, exactly. Lampard, exactly. Away. Obviously, Big Fat Frank. Uh, we, got, we got a song about him. But yeah, man, uh, a couple of like, Blackburn days when they was in the Prem. Yeah. Um, unreal. Couple oh, of leads awful, ones. Though, isn't it? That's an couple awful couple of leads one. <laughs> couple of leads ones. The thing is, right, you know it's when a team's doing well, yeah. their kits are hard to come by. Exactly. There's a lot of lead shirts here right now, True. which I think speaks Free volumes. Well, Liverpool, I know Freezy's a Liverpool fan. That's a good one. This season they've gone back to the white and green, haven't yeah. they? And big fan of this one. Big fan of that one. That's a lovely kit. I do find, and you're probably, these, this material mm. in the summer, Yeah. Very nipple chafy for me. The only place my body actually grows hair is my nipples, which is, I've announced that to a store full of people, which is what weird. A, what a chat um, we're having here. Um, so like, everyone. it does become quite a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially considering my whole personality is I'm the guy who wears football shirts. <laughs> so it becomes very hard to navigate in the world. I will say, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of watching your videos, man. Are you? Yeah, I've watched, uh, I've watched loads of them. You're, you're messy hunting, you're, <laughs> you're, the hunting in different countries is good. Oh, I appreciate it, I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan of those, man. Did you see, um, the messy hunt that went wrong. Yes, I did. Absolutely. <laughs> I was tuned in for that, man. Absolutely tuned in. Yeah, oh, it's, good, it's one of the ones that ended up paying for itself in the end. Of course. That's, a, that's the one thing that's, uh, that is quite good, is, is you're making these videos. It's an experience for people to take in with you. Yeah. You get, you get to see a load of it. I remember I was at the darts and I got the email saying the shirt was fake and I was just gone to my girlfriend's like, let's go home. It's like, <laughs> the evening's done. The evening is done The evening's me. ruined, If we man. sit here and I will have to watch Michael Van Gogh and throw a dart while I'm yeah. fuming, I'm, I will oh, go. I will the darts is class, isn't it? Yeah, I love what it. What a shirt that love is. Love the darts. What a shirt that is. Sheffield Wednesday. Wow, we. That is that is a shirt and art. That's a great example, right, of the long sleeves added yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adding to it. Like that, if it was short, isn't hitting the same. No. But that is phenomenal. Sheffield Wednesday, also, what a story recently. Yeah, unbelievable. Speaking of football, you've had the opportunity to play 
play a lot of stadiums. I have, yes, yeah. What is that like? Obviously, I've, I've recently had a couple of opportunities as well. It's mental, isn't mm. it? You sort of stand there and you're like, I played with Berbatov the other day. Wow. That's wow. mental. Then my best one is, uh, to this day, I played against Deco. Deco. I, oh. I played against Deco in uh, Baku. It was after Chelsea beat Arsenal yeah. uh, in the Europa League and I played against Deco and I got an assist in that game. <laughs> uh, I, I, I put someone off of a penalty as well, which I'm not ashamed to say. I did put the game's a game. The game is a game, exactly. I just got in his head beforehand. I said, listen, you, you pitch, I said, picture this, you're in this stadium now with Deco on your team. All you got to do is not miss this penalty. <laughs> Keeper saved it, fantastic. But um, yeah, that's a phenomenal experience. But I've got a big one coming up, Simon Charity match. Six, at your stadium? Um, our stadium. Yeah, that There's is no unreal. way I'm not scoring at my stadium. <laughs> I said to the boys, I said, I don't care. I'm, going, I'm flying up the pitch, flying up the pitch. It's amazing that when it's your stadium, because I, did my Ellen Road, but like, for some reason I got invited to sing with these Italians. Mm. And like, I was the only English person there, yeah, and yeah. I was losing my mind at the <laughs> newspapers. I want to score, and then I did score, and I was like buzzing. But then like, I played at another stadium, I was like, I don't mm. really care anymore. Yeah, yeah. Where'd you play? Uh, I played centre mid. Nice, okay. But like, I've not got the engine for nah, it. So I, I, I'm scarred by Wembley Cup days. So, because I, <laughs> I was a big fat man, I got put in centre back. And now, for some reason, everyone thinks I'm a centre back. I, on a Sunday, yeah. I play CDM or wing back. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm more going. I like to support. Uh, I'm not doing the centre back job again. I did it last year for the last game, but I, I said that's it. That's my sayonara to centre back. I'm not doing it again. Man. I like um, this. In terms of this bit, I've yeah. got some nice things that they're all in different sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually the same things. Mm -hmm. You get some really weird leagues here, which is really cool. Yeah, I, okay. I imagine this one's a bit. Oh wow! Who are they? AC Trento. Who are you? For this, <laughs> I, I like this. Is new Leon kit, right? This is is this this is yours? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I'm a big fan of this that's kit. A, the gold yes, accent. Really big fan of this kit. So, Leon, you've done a, you've done a solid with that. Here's an XL, so that won't go on the list. Okay. Um, what, what size are we looking for? Large, mediums, larges, and then of course I, I need a West Ham small for the lady. Yes. I mean, I mean we've spoken a lot about. You've touched upon it quite a few times already. Yeah. Weight loss? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever imagine back in the day you'd be wearing a medium shirt? No, not at all, mate. And if, if I'm being truthful, I could probably fit in a, in a small. That's mental, isn't it? Yeah, we, uh, we, we celebrated Simon's wedding recently. And out there, I was wearing, I bought stuff in a medium and I was like, oh my God. Like, I, I, but again, I've, I, never, I never imagined being this skinny ever in my life. So yeah. like, for me, I'm sat there thinking, every time I look at myself, I'm like, because I still feel like the fat little man inside. Do you think that's like one of the, I think it's one of the most underrated aspects of YouTube boxing, right? Because mm. it started because you were supposed to box yeah. Nick Crompton. Absolutely. And like that yeah. domino effect has led to everything changing. Exactly, it is, it's mental how much it follows on and trickles over because yeah. without that sort of like jump of inspiration, and realistically it's, a, it's thanks to JJ as well because like without here seeing what he did, chances are I never would have even wanted to get started. Yeah. Fiorentina shirt, by the way, hold. Hold Very that. nice. Hold that. <laughs> Hold that. Milinkovic, he's, he's a good player though. Were their fans sound, by the way? Do, do you know what? There was a little bit of trouble in the Old Town Square, but it, it was nothing more than like just a silly bunch. It was like 15 of them. Other than that, bumped, head, bumped heads with a couple of them walking through the town. It was absolutely fine. Oh, nice. Um, it was, it, I think everyone was just sort of like... So I feel like Fiorentina and West Ham, like they both haven't won something for that, the same amount of time. Nice, yeah. So it was sort of like... We both know that this is a big thing for our club. We don't want to ruin it. And yeah. Obviously, there are the silly people with the with the cups or like the the ultras before the game. But apart from that, safe and sound. Nice. All good. I find it quite interesting, obviously, because what I do a lot of it is going to games, mm. and there's a lot of a stigma against it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's all online. Yeah. Most of the waffle is like it's always like I see different creators getting threats to them all the time, and then they go yeah. to the game and it's fine. Yeah. So it's like I find that interesting. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people who moan about people vlogging at games never go to a game themselves. Yeah. So that's a weird dynamic as well. Yeah. Um, I tell you, that's one thing. I feel like I stopped doing my match day vlogs because of I wanted to enjoy my club again. Yeah. Like that's it. It felt almost more like a chore going to games and feeling like oh, I'm making a video again. So people will think, oh, Ethan just sat it off. Where no, I just wanted to be a normal fan again. And also, I feel like. I've got season ticket and I feel like I've ruined everyone's day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have so Every many, time, yeah, same so people. people coming over. Oh, can I, I feel like I'm ruining everyone else's day. They just want to sit and watch a game, man. I, I've been lucky enough to actually, I've done some stuff with my club, and, but it's one of the ones I've, I've never charged them a penny. I wouldn't ever do it. I yeah. do it out of purely the opportunity. It's lovely to do. Um, and then obviously, 
just even now, getting to have done, I announced Lucas Paqueta, who got the assist yeah. for us winning the trophy. <laughs> that is going down in my history books. Yeah, that is in unreal, my isn't history it? Books. I think you were part of the announcement, that is mental. Exactly, I'm sat there nodding my head along <laughs> to his Brazilian, not knowing a clue what he said. The translator, I'm like, yes, my boy, come on. <laughs> it took a while for him to come good, but he did, man. He yeah. did. He did. Right, let's this, get is, down. this is the juicy section. This is the juicy section. Uh, and to be fair, as we move towards the legends as well, this row is what I find people okay. tend to love. This, this is where the, the big stuff happens, yeah? I'll let you start flicking through. Okay. Just before we even start flicking through these shirts, did you know that you can also buy football shirts yourself using classic football shirts? They have a website with over tens of thousands of football shirts on there. They ship worldwide. Wherever you are in the world, you can get a shirt from classic football shirts. And did you know if you use the code AWAYDAYS at checkout, you can get 10% off. Yes, they're not just in store in London and Manchester, but they do have two stores as you can see on screen. Their locations you do also have online. Wherever you are in the world, you can use classic football shirts and save 10% at checkout using the code away days. Back to Ethan. Wow, wait. Yeah, you can already tell there's like a different essence about this rug. This is where the money's spent, right? Yeah, this is where this everyone, is where the bucks go. This in the legend section is where people tend to do their load. Go a bit silly. Yeah. yeah. What are you, Italian, German, you yeah, said German league, maybe of Dortmund. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like Dortmund, their passion. I'm, I'm a big fan of like the, the Dortmund passion. It's, yeah. one, it's one of them clubs that like you feel like they are just going nuts every yeah. game. It don't matter what's, although heartbreak recently. Mental, <laughs> just the absolute, like that is you can't the get, most Dortmund bottle of all. They do bottle it every year somehow, but that was the most That is peak one of the worst bottles I think I've ever seen. They had the real trophy, the real trophy wasn't even in Munich because they were that confident Dortmund would do it. That is unbelievable. They it all away, man. They threw it all they away. it all away. Are you someone who would wear a kit out in public if it's not yeah. for football? Yeah. You'd wear it down the... Uh, I, I like it. If, if, if I'm going out on a, like a summer's day now, so there's a nice kit that goes with an outfit. It looks good, man. And also, I like wearing a football kit on a hot day. Yes. Because if you're wearing just a t-shirt, it sticks to you. Football kits don't. So I think there's, there is like a big sort of, there's, a, there's a, a pro to wearing a football kit on a hot day. The thing is as well, right, like most hype beasts, mm. I'm clearly not a fashion guy, but <laughs> most of them brands have made kits that are just football kits now. Yeah, yeah like The exactly. Balenciaga ones yeah. are just a Dortmund shirt. Don't mind the Lazio kit. Yeah, because of Lazio Roma rivals. Exactly. I feel, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel like Lazio probably do have the better kits. Yeah, it's, it's just, just blue works so well. Blue, exactly. It's the it's the blue thing, isn't it? There's, it? there's certain teams that are just blessed by their colours, and you get nicer kits for them. I think that. you've got that with Claret and Blue. To do be you honest. know what? I would say growing up, I used to always think like, do I suit Claret and Blue? But then you just sort of become one with it, don't you? Yeah, you become one with it. I'm a fan of this Bill Bow one. Bill Bow, yeah, that one's not bad, you know. Yeah. Material's a bit like, that's old, old, isn't it? This is, I'm gonna guess 92. 92. 96. AZ Alkmaar, done a job on them. Hold yeah. that. There was an AZ fan in there earlier, and he's really? like, I said, he said, who are you doing it with today? I said, Ethan, he's like, he's a West Ham fan, so I better leave. <laughs> <laughs> Alphabet FC. How can we lose against Alphabet FC? Listen, airport that way, Prague is this way. Uh, that, 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 little boy, that little boy, that little boy's video, man, is just like phenomenal. By the way, these. That's that, great. That is phenomenal. How much is that? 150 size small. 150 size small. But also. Can you reach that? Because I can't. Hang on a minute. Oh, don't even. Look at that. Yeah, right. I'm good. Thank you, coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, coat hanger. That, that is phenomenal. Yeah. Obviously speaking just quickly about your child, how has it mm. been, how has your life changed? It, everyone always talks about it being, our taxi driver in Portugal the other day was saying like, my your life is, you become a new person, is that yeah. how it feels? Yeah, it's, it's like, you're, the, way, uh, the best way of explaining it is like, your happiness exists elsewhere. Okay. That's like the main thing is like, it, it does not matter about your day, like the small things that happen wherever, whatever, as long as your daughter's happy, your son's happy, that's what, matters at the end of the day so as long as it's your happiness is outside of you it becomes like external yeah um which is which is scary and also like lovely at the same time yeah tell you what this this liverpool shirt alonso oh i used to nice. love i used to love watching xavi alonso yeah i don't know why there's just certain midfielders that look like it's a breeze do you know what i mean and also the retirement image sums him up as well you yeah, know he's walking over yeah, his hand yeah, in the yeah. air I just think there's certain, yeah, there's certain midfielders that make the game look so, so relaxing almost. I think Pedri's got a bit of that about him. Yeah, Pedri's got the potential to be a real, like, a real great player. I say that because of FM, to be honest. Wow, and that's, that is mental. That is, that reminds me of Steve Bruce. Yeah, or Cant maybe Eric Cantona. Or maybe <laughs> Eric Cantona. That is a ridiculous shirt. 250 squids. Tobe Jizzle, if you're watching, mate. 
Get down here quick. Yeah, get, get involved. Get down here quick, boss. I think on this section, you might pick one out. I think, I just have a feeling based on what other guests have picked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might pick out a certain one. Because okay. these are legends now, people who people resonate with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashback. Just before we shoot, we're just looking around and I bet you he picks out that shirt. Ronaldinho 10, large, Brazil. I bet you he picks out the shirt. Ronaldinho, wow, wow. Tell you what, that's lovely. I also, this one as well, Ronaldinho on the back of that one. Yeah. Do you know what? I, I I can't look at a Brazil kit that isn't yellow. Really? No. I can't look at a Is this the shirt that you've This is the one I picked out. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll whack that up. Whack that on my arm. Because Ronaldinho, again, it, it, there's that classic video of him hitting the crossbar a load of times. But yeah. he's sort of one of them players that made like a load of people my age like love football. Do you know, didn't they release them balls that were really heavy? Yeah. And yeah, like yeah. you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah and like the whole. Uh, uh, They've just done the Nike adverts with the Brazil team in, in the yeah. changing room, stuff like that. Like, they're the things that I remember, and I think like they make you feel like you can do the cool little bit of whatever. You can do. It. I used to always want to do the Ronaldinho like a kick up, and then let it bounce on that and come back over. I used to practice that for hours. How is football so effortless to these people? I don't get it. Like, exactly. oh, don't get me wrong, like a passable fine. Yeah, yeah. But like, it's like watching someone like even like because there's so many levels to football, right? Like, you go to a game and like. Chris is really good. Yeah, yeah. But he would get nowhere near like a step eight non-league no, player. No, and exactly. there's levels to that person would get nowhere. Near. It's like I can't fathom how much better at football yeah. than me a even a championship yeah. player is. That is class. David Villa. What, what a was, man. What a striker, by the way. His, his Valencia days, for Pro Evolution <laughs> Soccer Six. Yeah. Yeah, Pro Evo Six, man. No, I just David call, call Villa. it the full name. <laughs> David Villa is like a different that's again one of the cl classy old school players yeah. where like there's just something about them man. they don't make them like that anymore they don't make them i actually have a fit like so you know like for example man city yeah. have some incredible players yeah right? i think they're going to struggle to have club legends yeah because yeah, they yeah. have so many you know players. that's a, that, that is a very good point like if leeds had 50 rafinhas yeah we wouldn't have had no, it's just the most basic thing i've ever said that but like <laughs> it's very hard to resonate with amazing players when you get spoiled with them of course of course yeah I'm whipping out a Bolton kit here. Yeah? Kevin Davies. Davis. <laughs> Again, one of them players, right? That Kill isn't bar, like, please. that isn't a world beater, but I used to watch him and think, you're from class. <laughs> Do you remember when there was like you're a big, class. there was a clamour to get him in the England squad? Yeah, yeah, And yeah, I remember yeah. Euro 2012, everyone's like, you need to get Grant Holt in. I was like, why? <laughs> Grant Holt. Grant Holt. Wait. So you, you need a small West Ham shirt, right? You I do need saying, a small West Ham shirt. I think shirt. what they've done is they've combinated all the West Ham All the West Ham over, over there. there. Cool. The last, the last actual class top here is is the the Tevez one. It's the Tevez one. Like but, the, the carrot one's nice. I do like a, I like a crossover collar like that. So what, what size? You, when you say small, you're looking for smaller XS. Yeah, XS? that's because my missus is tiny. So okay. So I don't think there's 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 a small enough classic one here. Ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> is there a woman's West Ham top? No. Oh, could be. Think, I'll tell you what was really nice, the women's uh, England kit. Yes, have you seen the away one for the World Cup as no. well? Oh, the away one for this but World it's Cup phenomenal. is it's so phenomenal. good. It's phenomenal. I saw that kit and I thought, wow, I quite like that. I might have to get it. Obviously, having a daughter now, it's good for that representation to like, have another sport and want, um, and want to do well at it. But like I go to obviously games with my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I force her. But like <laughs> she enjoys the women's games much more. She's like, there's a family atmosphere. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm going to get bottled. Yeah. It's no, you're, you're a not nice wrong. feeling of football. You're not wrong. There is that sort of like, it's still like geezer sort of. I started atmosphere. to stop offering people out. It's her own fault. She's <laughs> like going to the away and going, oh, come on then. <laughs> you know what? what? I'm going to leave you there. Yeah. I'm going to pick out some stuff. Okay. I, I, do you know what? I like that. Personal shopper. Yeah. You talk to me. I feel like I, I need like at least one like out there shirt. Do you know what I mean? Whoa. Don't mind a Joaquin. Betis, I went and watched the Betis game versus Olympiacos in UEFA and sort of they had the same sort of essence that a um, that West Ham have like over there in Spain. Okay, it gave me very much similar vibes. Got 125 left. What do I do with 125 pounds? I got picked up that PSV one. PSV oh oh that is lovely. And also this Denmark one which probably uh, is, is more of a all red is a uh, is a no go. All right. All red to know. Like, very much on my stomach at the moment after. <laughs> it's when no one gets that joke. It's like, that no, PSV one's outrageous though. Yeah? Wow. That sends me way over budget though. 
It's fine. I, it's, <laughs> I'll be honest, only one person's gone under budget and it was Reeve. He went under budget, so I, can I use Reeve's budget? I'll, I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it. Uh, Reeve, I'm taking your budget for that shirt. I'm happy with the colours I've got here. You've as well. got a very nice, you've got nice summer vibes. Yeah. No, we've got, sorry. <laughs> go on, do you want me to let go on? Go on, I'll help you out. Here we go. What a disaster. All right, listen, this do wanna... doorman kit, outrageous. Big fan of that. Old school job serve, blue and gold. We'll call it gold, it's not yellow. We'll call it gold. Yeah. Lovely. Gold for victory. Exactly. Ronaldinho, 10. Classy. Do you want to try them on? I'll try them on, yeah. Let's see how it looks. Let's get you up. in them changing rooms. Let's do way outside. Yeah. Thank you. Don't know why I'd come inside. <laughs> you know, obviously I'm waiting outside. <laughs> Yes. It's lovely as well. Toe bounce. I feel like a boner. Yeah, we picked a line. It fits like a dress. Oh, it's absolutely gigantic. It's humongous. It is gigantic. Why is, just because we want something, why has everyone come and bought all the nice things? Man? Plastics, where were they? Yeah, they, 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 they? Listen, you've bought all the nice things, man. You've left me with a dress. Where were they under Allardyce in the championship? Exactly, I'm not trying to... Uh, you weren't there, bro. You weren't there with Avram Grom as manager, <laughs> having a honker. You weren't there, man, but... You so know what, it's a lovely kit, but... Pajama I'm, top. I'm, no, unfortunately, this one's too big, so I think we go under budget again. Or you'd have 25 left, you can get a hat or some socks or whatever. Socks or, isn't... Not I will take shots because Faith keeps stealing all my socks. This is a personal message for you. I'm going to do you some sound joking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him checked out. Thank you very much for coming on and getting no involved. No problem, mate. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for guiding me around. I think you picked out, I'm honoured that you picked out one that I chose, you know? Yeah, that was better than your Ronaldinho shower, the purple one, so yeah. you, you, you redeem yourself. Every guest that comes on, I ask them yep. to suggest a guest for the future. Ooh, who should I suggest? This is tough. Very tough. This is really tough. Tobe Jizzle still needs to come on. Yes. Because he obviously supports a club that is like, rich with loads of history, incredible players. So, um, can I repeat the Tobe Jizzle shout? Get to Tobe Jizzle. Just get on. Come on, mate. You're not even that far away. Get on it. <laughs> get on the show, man. And get yourself some class football shirts. Once again, if one of you wants to win a £50 classic football shirts voucher, all you have to do is like this video and comment which shirt you thought Ethan's best pick was. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you very soon for more football shirt shopping. Ciao, ciao. Bye.